What's up everybody, I'm Josh Douglas. It's fall time, Northern Minnesota, and I'm out here on Lake Mille Lacs. And this is my favorite time, to eat, favorite time of year to fish, September, October, these fish, they start to get in big schools, kind of a lot's going on and they're feeding up for winter. Uh, you know, I don't know quite what's going on. We're just getting back into town. I'm definitely gonna use my Lowrance Electronics, my Navionics mapping, and then get to the front of the boat, drop the trolling motor, and play with that new live site. Kind of watch where the perch are, definitely look for those smallmouth bass, and uh, we're gonna have a good day today. So come on, check it out. I wanna show you how I use my equipment. You know, this time of year, it's a great time to kind of look for transition spots. These fish are moving. You're gonna have your deep fish, and you're gonna have your shallow fish. And a day like today, it's real foggy. We can't really move around that great anyway. Uh, so just kind of idling around a little break line right here, and you, you can see it's just a, coming off of a big flat. Anything coming off this fl these flats this time of year, you got deep water immediately to its right. Um, good areas to look around, and basically what I'm going to look for now is just a mixture of rock and grass. And you can see it's kind of what I got here. I, uh, I don't want too much grass. You know, smallmouth aren't largemouth. They don't want the grass that much, but they love the edges. Uh, they like to get out into some of these clumps and use these to ambush. They can see great. Uh, the, the vegetation really keeps the water clean and as I move around you can just kind of see these different kind of clumps you know I'm looking for bait I'm looking for fish and more importantly I'm looking for an environment you know I want to see where these fish are at and what they're doing before I turn around and just start fishing for them they, they should be schooling up so they should definitely be showing themselves as we go along so right here we got a big weed line right here this is a big weed line and if you look here and we zoom in that's kind of like offset right there. That, those are off the beaten path and great areas for those fish to kind of move in on. And these little clumps like this, they're putting off, they're casting shadows off of it. And here you can see right here, this is perfect. This is what I'm looking for. Schools of fish. We get in here and you get off these edges and they just hang close to them. They don't get inside them. They get on the outside of them and just kind of hanging in those areas. And that's what I, here's a bunch of perch right here. You can see it on both sonar. You can see it on down scan. That's what they're eating. And, and these shadow lines, whether you're dealing with rocks, whether you're dealing with weeds, you know, the shadow dictates how tall, how tall these stocks and stacks of grass are in these clumps. So I'm looking at the shadows. I'm, I'm, I can't shoot through the clump of eelgrass. So that's how I know that these are clumps of eelgrass sitting there. And just like how I showed you with those fish, they just kind of hang around. They can sit behind it. And as those perch come through, and they just jump out and start eating them. You know, this is pretty ideal right here. We got a little bit of a point that comes out. Uh, here's are my clumps of grass. You know, these are just clumps of eelgrass. It's perfect for them fish to sit up on top of, uh, hang off on the edges, and most importantly, these perch schools, the, these baby perch, they love this kind of stuff. They can hide in it, and they can move around, and that attracts a smallmouth. You still got rock, you still got grass. So you got their two main forage here for Lake Lake Malax, which is gonna be perch, and it's gonna be crawdad. So with all this rock in here, and these little grass clumps, it's a perfect location to uh, start fishing for them. Again, once we, once we can pick up a few marks and see them, then we'll get right on them. You know, we just went over a school, and ideally this is exactly what I'm looking for. Come across Dallas Camp right here, you can see them, boom, 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 boom. You know, if you can see that many, they probably put a zero behind it, there's probably 30 of them hanging out down there. But that's what I'm looking for. When I find a school like that, that's exactly what I'm going for. And I'm gonna turn around and definitely move right back to that location and start catching them. You know, once I get up here on the deck, this is where you know I'm spending a lot of my time. I'm idling around, I want to get to know everything, but I want that same advantages again when I get up front and I get onto my trolling motor. I want to see what's around me. So basically my setup is almost the exact same as what I'm sitting with uh, at the council. You know, right here I got my Navionics mapping, a big version of it. You know, I always say buy as much or as many graphs as you can afford. And in this situation here, you know, I got uh, my Navionics mapping and my sonar, and that's coming off the bottom of the trolling motor. I got a transducer on the bottom. Standard sonar, I catch so many of my smallmouth just seeing them underneath the boat and wanting to drop down to a little bit smaller cone and try to catch them fish. And then you got over here, you know, I got the exact same thing than what I got up front with I'm looking at my structure scan. That's the same transducer that I'm using off the back of the boat. Uh, I can see around so much better and as I move with the trolling motor that all tightens right up and shows me everything as if I'm idling around. Down scan again off the back of the boat and then the new addition of live sight now. So now I'm looking, I'm using off the trolling motor, I'm moving around and I can kind of see things as they show up in front of me and uh, you know that's the only thing I don't have in the back because that's meant to be up front while I fish. But other than that I have absolutely everything I have uh, at my council I also have up on the deck of my boat. Right here, 
just pulled up. We saw those fish. You know, it's not the biggest one in the world, but they tell a story. They're for sure smallies that we idled over. You know, this is a notorious walleye lake. Uh, but more importantly, you know, they're in here eating these perch. And I noticed one key thing here I want to show you guys. I hit it real quick. Check this out. It's always so important to know what, you're, what they're eating, what the fish are eating out there. And this guy just brought. You know, when we caught that one, I noticed something important. We noticed right away in that small, he won the biggest one in the world, a couple pounds, but he told a big story. You know, I'm looking here, looking at all the bait fish, what they're eating. You know, we don't have shad here in Minnesota. We got, we got perch, stuff like this, maybe a little tulip Cisco, stuff like that. But perch and crawdad, such an important part of a smallmouth's diet. And that's exactly what we're seeing when those, those schools of bait that we saw in here, those little marks, the smallies that we saw, turn around and catch one. We gotta go get another one. There's a bunch of fish right here. You can see them all right there, a bunch of perch. You know, right here off the trolling motor, you can see a small moth right there. And they're just hanging off these little clumps. There's a couple of them. There's another one right there. You know, they're just in the direction that the trolling motor's pointing. So I'm just gonna kind of drop my bait in there. Try to peg one of those fish off. As I move the trolling motor head, I'll start to lose the image. Show me more about what's going on around me. If I can just get one. There he is. Got him. He was right there. Right up. Oh, it's a nice one too. Come on, baby. Come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> that was awesome. Right off the graph using live sight. It's just a beautiful small. It just goes to show you again using your electronics from the console all the way up to the trolling motor, structure scan, sonar, Navionics mapping, and live sight. Catches a fish like these. Man, that was awesome, I'm gonna let them go.